This is a kind of travel nostalgia video. Back in the days before all the lockdowns, I used to return from somewhere in the world to Australia, get on my motorbike and head south from Byron Bay along the coast. So here's a bit of a montage of some highlights along the way. Riding down the beautiful Kulamon Scenic Drive and over to my left is the valley that looks down towards the ocean and towards Byron Bay. That's a beautiful view. It's a pity that the uh, sky is so full of smoke because of the bushfires that are in some cases only a hundred kilometers or even less 50 kilometers from here. There are currently, I believe, over a hundred bushfires burning in New South Wales and Queensland. And here we are right near the border of New South Wales and Queensland.
So I arrived back in Australia two weeks ago and since then I've been staying in this beautiful house with this magnificent view overlooking the valley down to Byron Bay which is over there and you might be able to see the lighthouse and over here Mullumbimby now it's time to hit the road towards Melbourne and there's my beautiful bike waiting for the ride south Okay, here we are, 1,830 kilometers to Melbourne. This is such a lovely road. It's so beautiful, the sunlight coming through the trees. That this is the middle of a rainforest area. Um, and it's an absolutely beautiful day to ride a motorbike. So it's the morning of the second day. Um, Yesterday I travelled around 300 kilometres south along the coast and after sunset when it was already getting dark I arrived at this little town that I've never been to before. It's a place called Wulguga. <laughs> Getting a wonderful uh, 
now the end of the third day, or getting towards the end of the third day of my travels. Um, I'm not sure, I think I've traveled about six or seven hundred kilometers south, and I'm, uh, I'm about an hour and a half away from Sydney. I've been following the coast, but this road I'm on now has turned slightly inland and climbed up into some uh, some hills. So I've got some elevation above sea level and it's cooler. It's also getting cooler each day as I travel south because uh, I'm getting further away from the equator. This is what Sydney traffic looks like. It's not too bad. It's five o'clock on a Sunday afternoon. So it's not peak hour or anything. There's the first view of the Sydney skyline in the distance. is the mighty Sydney Harbour Bridge with the sunset light on it Sydney city skyline. So the sun is setting on another wonderful day's riding. I feel really good, not tired, excited to be back in Sydney, probably the most exciting town in Australia, in my opinion, and I'm getting very close to um, my accommodation for the night. I'm looking forward to that also. It's got a kitchen, that'll be great. It's got a washing machine, I can wash all my clothes, wonderful. of my journey south from Sydney was a 300 kilometer ride down the coast to a beautiful little seaside hamlet called Mossy Point.
you look. Moving all around. Coming right up on the edge. Demi, Dad, no, Demi. No, no, no. There it is again. The beautiful blue ocean. There's a small uh, graveyard at the um, on top of the point here, the South Head Point. Lots of wind and the ocean as you can see is quite turbulent good for surfers I think gorgeous sunshine on the water and um, the air <coughs> quite misty with uh, spray from the ocean While I was in Tathra, I was incredibly lucky to see a family of three humpback whales migrating south off the coast towards the Southern Ocean. <laughs> 